There are only two things in this world more monotonous than hand washing your dishes. Watching grass grow and watching paint dry. For those of you who don't have a dishwasher, washing dishes by hand is a tedious reality each and every day. And even if you have a dishwasher, it doesn't preclude you from this chore. Personally, I have like 50 cups that aren't dishwasher safe. And then there's that gang of pots and pans that can't go into the dishwasher either. There are actually many things that you shouldn't put into the dishwasher like crystal, cast iron pots or non-stick pots and pans, any good knives that you may have, and wooden cooking utensils. Here are 10 helpful tips and tricks to make this stupid job a little bit easier. Tip number one, use gloves. Safety first everyone, these bright yellow gloves not only make you look super cool, they also protect your skin on your delicate digits from losing its natural oils and then drying out. They also protect your hands from hot water as well as any rogue knives lying around at the bottom of your sink. Now a cool bonus feature to these gloves is that they're made of rubber and it's kind of tacky. Tacky like ugly, but also tacky like sticky, meaning it's super easy to hold on to slippery dishes. Oh, and if you don't like that rubber glove smell like me, you can just sprinkle some baking soda into your gloves to deodorize them. But I bet you saw that one coming. Number two, get a dish rack. For around 20 bucks, you can get yourself a dish rack that will hold a good amount of dishes and glasses and cutlery, oh my. I bought mine for about 15 bucks, as you can see. It's fairly large and I saved money by not buying that little tray that goes underneath and I cheated. I'm just using a simple baking sheet and I'm putting a dish towel over top of it instead. That is called being frugal. Number three, wipe food off your dishes ASAP. Might sound a little simplistic, but you'd be surprised how much tougher it is to wash food that has been sitting on a dish for 12 hours hours. If you tackle the food as soon as possible, it's much easier to clean off. When food dries to a plate, moisture comes out, the food clings onto any surface it can find, making your job a lot more difficult. Number four, use the hottest water you can bear. The hotter the water, the better. It makes the food come off easier and it helps dry your glasses and cutlery without spots or streaks. Hot water also gets grease off faster. Number five, time to soak. For really stubborn food deposits or for cleaning up the pots and pans, time is on your side. You can use a few drops of dish liquid or dishwasher detergent and let those tough baked on food bits loosen overnight. In the morning, you should be able to easily wipe everything away. That is called conserving your elbow grease and I am a big fan. You can also sprinkle in some baking soda for a little extra mild abrasion. Number six, invest in a good sponge. You can find name brand sponges at your local dollar store or big box store. Just make sure it's a non-scratching sponge. This is a Scotch-Brite sponge and the scrubby side is blue and the back side is also blue, which in Scotch-Brite terms means it's non-scratching. These tools here are also pretty handy to wash dishes with. A dish wand where you can put dish liquid directly inside and then you see there's this scrubbing sponge that you can use. We use this all the time, it's awesome. You can also use a dish brush and you can also use a scraper which I've talked about several times and it's really good for lifting off that burnt off guck that you just can't get off with anything else. Number seven, don't let your dishes pile up. Unlike fine wine or an artisanal cheese, dirty dishes tend to not age very well. What's worse is that the dish pile is only going to grow bigger and bigger and your interest level in washing them is going to get smaller and smaller. So don't let your sink turn into Mount Dishmore. Tackle the dishes every night. That way they'll never get out of hand and become overbearing. And remember, the cleanliness of your sink can make or break your entire kitchen. Number eight, 
cleaning burnt pots and pans. Now, I made a video on this subject a long time ago, and I want you to see the video. It's actually right here, and I'm gonna put the link to that video in the description box down below. So check it out at the end of this video, but don't check it out just yet. Finish checking this one out, and then you can check that one out after. Number nine, wash in the right order. Now this is pretty intuitive. You wanna wash your dishes from the least greasy and the least dirty to the most greasy and the most dirty. So it usually goes something like this. First, you wash your glassware and any drinking vessels. Then you're gonna wash your cutlery, then your plates and your bowls and whatnot. And finally, you're gonna wash your pots and pans. Now, you may have to drain and refill the water as needed, especially if you notice it getting really greasy and grimy in there. And finally, number 10, the Melissa Maker way. Now, this isn't so much a tip as it is the way I choose to hand wash my dishes and whatnot here at home, and it's pretty simple, so I thought I would share it with you. If you have two sinks, you're gonna fill one with the hottest water you can tolerate and add a couple of drops of dish liquid. You don't need a lot. Now, fill the other sink with cool water and add a half cup of plain white vinegar. That is going to act as a rinse agent and help avoid spots and streaks on your glassware. All you need to do is wash each dish in the hot water using your sponge or your dish wand or your dish brush. Then you're going to take it and dip it into your cool water and vinegar. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Take it out and place it in your drying rack. If you have one sink to work with, I'm going to save you a lot of time. I need you to make a pre-treater for your dishes. And all you need to do is take a tablespoon of dish liquid, mix it with some water and place it in a spray bottle. You're gonna take that pre-treater and spray each of our dishes, and then you're gonna neatly pile them on the side of the sink. While the dishes are sitting there and the pre-treater is breaking everything down, you'll pick each one up, and one by one, you're gonna give the dish the once over with the dish wand or your sponge, and you're gonna run your sink on a slow stream of water. There's no need to put it on full blast and waste water. Then you'll rinse the dish, and you'll place it into your dish rack and let it dry. Whether you have one sink or two, some items will require hand drying using a towel. This is where I suggest using a waffle weave microfiber towel, which is super absorbent and actually dries quicker than a regular tea towel. This is incredible for drying your dishes. I really hope this helps, but we're not quite done here because I'm inviting anyone who has dishwashing tips or tricks of their own to share them in the comment box below. Go ahead, don't be shy. Me and 64,000 other Clean My Spacers will really thank you. We're also doing a quick little contest. We're gonna be giving away a couple of our waffle weave drying towels. So what I need you to do is to place a picture of your before and after Mount Dishmore on our Facebook page. And if you don't have Facebook, you can always email me, melissa at cleanmyspace.com. And we are going to pick a winner two weeks from today's release date. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button right down there to catch more of our great cleaning videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm really impressed that you made it to the end of the video. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of videos I think you'll really enjoy. The first one is how to clean burnt pots and pans, classic. And the second one is called how to clean your cleaning tools. And we talk about how to clean your sponge, which gets super disgusting, especially if you're always doing the dishes. Hope you enjoy them.